Mbappe for the win. Mbappe. No. Another game where Kylian Mbappe does absolutely zero. I mean, what's up, guys? Welcome back to it. Merengue Cule. Double upload for the day. Before this video, we uploaded the Champions League group stage um, reactions. So make sure you go check that one out. I honestly really, really enjoyed the video, making the video. So I hope you guys enjoy watching the video. Um, just like for the reaction video for the Champions League, I didn't know anything. And yet again, for this uh, for this match, I don't know anything. I got back from work today, so turned off all my notifications. I have no idea what the starting lineup was, what the score was, anything, absolutely anything. So uh, make sure you guys hit the like button for this one. It's going to be a good one as well. And without further ado, let's get started. All right, here we go. Oh, I see Luka Modric coming out. So I'm guessing he was the captain for the team. Rudiger Shomini, and then they cut everyone else off. Here we see uh, Las Palmas' starting lineup. Okay, Mendy, Militao, Lucas Vasquez. As I said, Lucas Vasquez was going to start. Brahim is starting. Mbappe, Vini, Valverde, Shomini, and Modric. I essentially got the starting lineup spot on in my pregame analysis. If you guys watched that one, I said, but he was going to start. But I said, likely Luka Modric will start. However, I wished Arda Guller would be the one starting. Remember, we did bet for Kylian Mbappe to score either a goal or get an assist. Minute three for Mbappe. Minute three for Mbappe. And I was hoping this was going to be a cracking to start to this game. Not so much. Not so much. Not so much. There goes Vini. Here goes Vini. Well, that didn't even, the ball didn't even go out, and he was trying to shoot the ball there. Okay, Vini, come on now. Militao, who's having a really good start to the season. I like it. There goes Las Palmas. McBurney, the Scottish guy. Chamonix doesn't get it. Minute four, Real Madrid gets scored on. Minute four, Real Madrid gets scored on by Las Palmas. I was not expecting that one. Wow, 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 wow. Well... Woof, Moleiro. Oof, um, some diving in either from Chauvinio or Rudiger. Oh. Good through ball there to McBurney, the Scottish guy who cuts it back, finds the Las Palmas player. It's Chauvinio that makes a, is too scared to make a tackle. And then just when I was praising uh, Militao, Look, here's the first cut on Chamonix, and then another good cut on Militao. Puts the ball on his left foot and gets a really good shot off. Shot off. Courtois not able to save it. Unideal. Well, we went from minute four all the way to minute 24. Free kick here for Fede Valverde. For Fede Valverde, who almost scores again off a of free kick. Valverde is starting to become a monster at free kicks. Careful here. Hold on. The ref is being called. Nope, he said play on. Damn, like is there a handball or something? Come on. All right, minute 28 here. Good win there from Lucas Vasquez. Passes the ball to Valverde who finds Kylian Mbappé. Kylian turns around, he's by himself running at four Las Palmas defenders. Here comes Kylian Mbappé with a weak shot, with a really weak shot. I mean, he could have done anything else except that and it would have been better. Um, all right, here we go again. Minute 37. Most of the first half has been uh, played already. Rudiger has got the ball. Rudiger with a blast. Oh, I thought it went in. I thought it went in. No. No. Good shot from Rudiger. Oh, what a save from the keeper. What a save there. All right, we got a corner kick. Luka Modric, come on. We need to tie this up before half. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I want a Militao goal. Modric with a cross. <sighs> That's halftime right there. Real Madrid goes to halftime, losing 1-0. They have 45 minutes to turn this around. Here we go, second half. Uh, minute 50. Las Palmas with the ball. I have not seen anything from Vini, anything from Brahim, really anything from Mbappe either. Vini, get rid of that hair. All right, Rod Rodrigo, looks like they took out Brahim already. So Brahim was a failed, failed opportunity. Uh, I just don't see, 
It's been almost a whole hour of gameplay and Madrid has not created a single good chance. We have, you could argue, the best attacking trio. Oh my god. Sandro had the 2-0 for Las Palmas and that would have sentenced Madrid. Here we go. Valverde with the ball. Minute 55. Finds Kilian. Come on, Kilian. Shot on target for Kilian and Vini heads it away. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Cross here. Okay, look at that. Arda Guller's coming in. All right, minute 66. Shawmany opens up for Lucas Vasquez. Good touch from Lucas. Puts it back. Vini. Was that a handball penalty? Penalty for Madrid. Penalty for Madrid. Who takes it? Is it Vini or is it Modric? Or is it Mbappe? Good touch from Lucas Vasquez there. Drops it off to Vini. And there's a handball. It's a pretty clear handball as Arda Guller tries to get a touch. Yep. Clear handball. No questions about that. Vini's taking it. Vamos Vini, vamos Vini, vamos Vini. Ay, why would you put a freaking ad right before the fucking penalty? <sighs> All right, I need to get my blood pressure back down. Here we go. We're back in. Minute 67. We need to tie this up. Come on, Vini, come on. Vamos! Vamos! Vini gets his first goal in La Liga. Vamos! 20, 25... 20, 25 minutes to tie this game up. I'm sorry, to, to score the winner. Whew. Courtois with a little punch there. Oh, good save from Courtois there. Good save from Courtois. God, Madrid is... Oh my God, minute 84 already. Madrid wasted a whole 15 minutes. All right, well, five to ten minutes in this game. Mbappe, Mbappe for the win. Mbappe, no! Mbappe, por favor! When are you going to do something for Madrid? Hendrik is in for Vini. Arda finds Hendrik. Hendrik! Oh! No way. No way. Madrid is going to tie this fucking game. Fuck. Another two points dropped in La Liga. We're four points away from Barcelona. I don't believe... Why, why are they taking this back? Like, we'll just... Oh my god, Las Palmas had scored a goal, but then they took it off. Oh my god, imagine if Madrid would have lost that thing. I mean, tying it essentially feels like a fucking loss. Another game where Kylian Mbappé does absolutely zero. I mean, there was there was zero highlights for Mbappé almost getting close to scoring anything. Obviously, I'm just watching highlights and I didn't watch the actual game, so I'm going to need you guys to tell me in the comments... Um, if you watch the game, how Mbappe did. <sighs> this is worrying, guys. Three games in La Liga, and Madrid has tied two of them already. This is really worrying. I just don't see much offensively in the team. We're, we're noticing that Jude Bellingham is not there and how much that is affecting the team offensively. And, I mean, even, even defensively, we're having, we're having mistakes and, and just problems in the back. This is a, a little worrying... I was already starting to get worried, but after this tie and just seeing how little Mbappe, uh, Mbappe and, and Vini and the whole team is creating offensively, I'm, I'm actually starting to feel a little a little worried. Uh, I don't know, guys. I don't know. That was not good. We're now four points behind uh, Barcelona. I want to hear what you guys think down in the comments. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. All right. I'll see you guys later on for the next video. Real Madrid plays against Betis, which is another tough game. Probably the toughest game that they're gonna that they're gonna play in the, the start of La Liga. So, anyways, I'll see you guys next video. As always, a la Madrid. Fuck!